Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here and as you can guess from the title, I'm going to be talking about Nano Dimension because I believe this company deserves way more coverage than it gets on YouTube and that's what I do. I try to, you know, point out interesting companies so we can get a better look at them. And this one is not an exception. As we can see last day on Friday, the stock did 18 plus percent. Even in the after hours for past 5 days the stock is up over 30% and for past month the stock is up 63% so it's just phenomenal stuff, really nice short term gains but we here are investing for long term, we just want to let money do the work for us and this is why we do our due diligence and look at the news and stuff like that. Talking about news, Nino Dimension appoints Dr. Ellie David to the board of directors. Dr. Ellie David is a world-renowned AI expert specializing in deep learning and evolutionary comp computation with over 50 papers published in leading artificial intelligence journals and conferences, mostly focusing on applications of deep learning and genetic algorithms in various real-world domains. For the past 15 years he has been teaching courses on deep learning and evolutionary computation in addition to supervising the research of graduate students in these fields. He has also served in numerous capacities successfully designing, implementing and leading deep learning based projects in real world environments. Dr. David also serves as an AI consultant to several Fortune 500 companies and major venture capital and private equity firms. He is a frequently invited speaker in prominent AI venues and member of Forbes Technology Council. Dr. David received the Best Paper Award in the 2008 Genetic and Evolutionary Computation Conference, the Gold Award in the prestigious Humis Award for Human Competitive Results in 2014, the Best Paper Award in the 2016 International Conference on Artificial Neural Networks. He is the developer of Falcon, a grandmaster level chess playing program based on genetic algorithms and deep learning which reached second place in the World Computer Chess Championship. So overall from this article we can see that it's very beneficial for both sides and that Nano Dimension definitely did the right move. It is only that people are realizing in what good position the company is for the past 4 months and talking about good positions, there's another article about uh, Nano Dimension's cash raising that it could lead to some intriguing scenarios. So let me just get through this. In 4 months, Nano Dimension will have raised 1 billion dollars in cash. Nano Dimension sits in a hot area, 3D industrial digital manufacturing. I've discussed the technical industry revolution in the past and NNDM fits this category. It's a cash intensive business to build out and not a profitable one in the early stages either. It makes sense the company will need cash, however, I can't recall the last time I saw a company pull off 7, yes, 7 direct offerings in 4 months. The company is averaging almost 2 offerings per month. The first offering was small but they've progressively grown. In 4 months, Nano Dimension will have raised 1 billion dollars in cash, that's more than twice the market cap of a few months ago. Let me just look, current nano dimension market cap is actually huge at the moment, it's 3 billion dollars as it's massive and the company has grown so well and they are in such a good position but I'm skipping ahead here. So let's return back to the article and continue because this is really interesting article and I want to point it out. In the past month alone NNDM has priced out 762 million dollars an amount roughly the same as its market cap from a month ago. So this company is moving really quickly but people are just not getting it because they think oh it didn't move up 70% in one day as the SPACs do. But you know this is not a SPAC, this is a growth company which is going to grow progressively. And as we can see from the, from the chart, if I move to 6 month chart, for the past 6 months the company is up 500%. If you bought around 1.5 dollars you are going to be up 1000% next week, I'm almost sure of it. Because this company is in such a good position, it's crazy good and the article will summarize it really well, so I'll just head back to it and continue with reading. While this may come across as tough as though I'm negative on management or the company, that's not the case. NNDM has been able to raise 1 billion dollars against virtually zero debt. This provides the company a huge cash runway to recover from the previous year. Could you imagine a scenario where desktop metal uses shares to acquire NNDM? 
The company is debt-free with strong cash position itself after coming public via a SPAC. While this is more of a dream scenario, I envision a more traditional industry making a splash in the sector with a purchase of a name such as NNDM. So what they're trying to say is that even NNDM has raised seven times in a cash, seven times capital for past four months, which is immense. You know how big of a deal it was when Tesla raised a little bit of cash for them, a little bit, just like they raised one billion in one time. It was really small percentage of shares diluted, but yeah, this is just crazy, crazy good, and I'm just glad that this stock is getting some more coverage it it deserves. But they were not done yet. Here I'm about to show you that you know Arc Arc Invest is of course buying these shares, and what better way is to show it than uh, just looking it up in their RQ Autonomous and Robotics ETF. If we scroll down we should be able to find it here yes here we have it and that nndm is about they have it in increased last week uh 0.4 almost and they bought extra five fifty three thousand shares which is really not nothing to sneeze at and they're definitely making some profits and of course they are a uh, uh, they are extending their uh, NNDM shares into another ARC, ARC ETF, which is RW Internet ETF. And if we scroll down, it doesn't, yeah, here we have it. It's also worth a similar amount. So it's over 700,000 as well. But in this fund, it's only 0.88%. But in it increased as well for about 0.1 percentage. And they bought as well about 50,000 shares because they see great momentum and I'm just really looking forward because this is looking really interesting and ARK is most likely going to buy even more shares of this company because they do, they, they, they add up the shares of company they like and they, they see the future in and with uh, NNDM raising so much money without uh, really moving the price down, of course, yeah, if we look at the share price, there were like one day uh, stock stock correction, like huge stock correction, like 20, 30, 10 to 30, 10 to 30 percent down within one day but it was just because of announcing a direct offering which is really not that bad if you think about it it's not diluting it's just raising capital and then you know there was really tough a period of time where it was really on sale and it was nndm was really on sale then they announced again offering minus 17 percent but then it ran up 63 percent then announcing again and that then happened about 24 percent correction within one day Huge, you know, most of people would sell, but that would be great time to buy more because you would make another 70%. And if you hold from then, you got over 200%. So I've been covering this stock for I don't know how long one month, maybe two months, I think, over two months. And I still think that there is a lot, and I mean a lot of potential. Just think of the possibilities aerospace, EV cars, you know. Just think about if Neo or I don't know even Tesla did some little bit of contracts or expand, you know. Nano Dimension offers a lot of possibilities to save money. They have very unique product. They are two or three years ahead of any possible competition and they have so much money that even if there would occur some kind of competition, they could easily buy it. Also, there is there have been some rumors that Nano Dimension is going to become uh, is going to join some kind of fund which is also a huge deal because I believe since workers joined the fund the stock moved within one day about 30% I believe but I'm not sure about that this is something I think I've heard or read somewhere so feel free to correct me in the comment section so I hope I brought you some value if I did please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any exclusive video also by clicking on a thumbs up it really helps me to push the video through the YouTube algorithm which sometimes is your biggest enemy last but not least let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts and opinions are you going to buy on Monday when the market opens or are you going to wait out for some kind of correction because as we can see the stock did about 30-40% move since the last time it did correction and as we know the stock likes to do 40-50% and then comes at about 10% ish correction so I'm waiting for this correction to happen and then I'm gonna add up two more shares so let me know what are your positions what is your approach to this stock and all that good stuff with that being said thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video